Hello guys, Eric Were here. Welcome to the Liveversity YouTube channel once again. As I shared with you yesterday that I will be sharing a video on a daily basis with you uh, termed the daily challenge. This is simply a sharing of what I learned or some motivation or inspiration of what inspired me the previous day. And uh, the aim of this sharing is to bring out the best out of each and every one of us. There's something I know and there's something that you know. And if we come together and put together one and two, we are able to create a uh, three or an 11 based on uh, whatever the one or two is in this perspective and uh, i believe that we have the capacity to develop each other and bring the best out of each other in this video i'm going to tackle a common topic that uh, most people uh, are interested in and that is uh, a topic about destiny and uh, today's daily challenge is titled uh, destiny chose you you didn't choose your destiny and uh, a common question uh, or a common concern i hear uh, most people raise in life is that uh, do you have the ability to choose the direction you want to take your life or does destiny choose one and uh, this question to answer it i can simply give my own opinion of it and uh, there is a common cliche that goes uh, that many are called but few are chosen uh, it is a very common uh, saying and uh, uh, according to me many are called but few are chosen so if you are among the many that are called then it goes without saying that you need to choose your destiny and if you are among the few that are chosen and then i believe that uh, destiny chooses you you don't choose your destiny if the world understood that a destiny chooses some people then we will have very few criticisms i believe that one of the biggest problems with society today is that people believe uh, that you can choose your destiny uh, in reality you need to have your destiny choose you if you have your destiny choosing you then life becomes easier you are able to conquer more and you are able to create a bigger impact in life than any other person who ever lived and uh, an, a classical example is an example of joseph uh, in the bible if you are a bible reader or the reader of holy books you will be able to realize the troubles that faced joseph first of all uh, betrayal 1 1 he was betrayed by his own brothers because he was loved more by his father uh, Jacob and if you go through the history of Jack uh, of uh, this guy called Joseph in the Bible you can be able to see the troubles he underwent and uh, it was as if I, every move he made was wrong but at the end of the day it was destiny calling unto him even after being sold to slavery in Egypt uh, he emerges as cream de la cream and even after being uh, imprisoned uh, based on trumped up charges by Potiphar's wife, he still comes on top and at the end of it all, after two years of grueling torture and suffering uh, in, the, in the prison, uh, uh, Joseph comes out as the Prime Minister of Egypt and offers a solution to one of the greatest problems. He, saves, he literally saves the entire world from hunger and uh, ends up saving his own family. That is when he realizes that it was destiny calling him. A second example is Abraham. He was told by God to leave his homeland where he knew everybody, where everything was familiar with him. It was like his comfort zone, but God tells him to go to an unknown land and God promises to give him that land. It was out of faith that uh, Abraham took the first step and decided to move regardless of the uncertainty that was just right ahead of him and we see destiny chose abraham he did not choose destiny and then his son isaac uh, i remember the story of isaac when it came a time uh, for choosing a wife for him uh, his father called one of uh, his favorite servants and sent him out into the country to look for a, a young lady who was going to uh, get married to his son isaac it is God who guided that servant until he came to the very relatives of Abraham uh, near the well. And then we can see that uh, 
uh, they come up together and uh, now uh, Abraham's son who is Isaac gets a bride uh, out of that it was destiny calling it was destiny beckoning on uh, Abraham's servant leading him all the way to the right bride for uh, Isaac and then the, the the fourth example is Jacob uh, we are seeing now uh, Isaac uh, gives uh, the wife of Isaac that is Rebecca gives birth to uh, to a twin that that is the uh, two sons uh, Esau and uh, Jacob and we can see that uh, compared to Esau Jacob lived somehow a tricky and wayward life until uh, he ended up snatching his brothers or his elder brothers uh, um, blessing from his father he flees and goes uh, to live with his uncle Laban and we see uh, Jacob being interested in Laban's daughter, that is uh, Rachel. But uh, Laban exchanged Rachel for Leah, who was the eldest daughter. And we see uh, Jacob is forced to work for seven more years in order to win uh, Rachel. And through that confusion, betrayal, and uh, uh, something like uh, deception, uh, Jacob uh, ends up marrying four women and uh, each of these two sisters uh, manages to give Jacob uh, their servant girl and Jacob uh, uh, get, ends up giving birth with all the servant girls for these two wives of his and we find uh, out that at the end of it all uh, God was looking to found the 12 tribes of Israel which is the basis of uh, uh, the Bible and uh, we see it was destiny beckoning onto Jacob. It was destiny calling Jacob uh, until uh, God accomplishes his mission of uh, creating the 12 tribes of Israel, which creates the foundation of our faith to this day. And then the fifth example was Moses. Uh, we see when Moses was born, it uh, came at a time when uh, the Israelites were being tortured by the Egyptians and uh, that was after uh, Jacob's family uh, went to Egypt because of hunger. They moved there because Joseph had called the family and uh, his father for that matter. They, they went there around 70 people and now uh, God multiplied them there in Egypt and they grew to become a very great nation until they became a threat to the Egyptians themselves. Uh, we see God uh, choosing uh, Moses, destiny choosing Moses, even though he was a boy child born at a time of oppression when the Israelites were being murdered by the Egyptians. All newborn babies who were boys were supposed to be killed, but we see God miraculously saving Moses, and Moses ends up being raised by his own mother. The Egyptians didn't know that it was uh, his own mother raising him. And we see even when uh, Moses went wayward and killed an Egyptian, he flees uh, and uh, uh, lives in the desert, but destiny calls him until he comes face to face with God in the form of a burning bush, and destiny calls him to go back to Egypt and complete his mission. So this was, uh, uh, th this was actually a, a, a scenario of destiny beckoning, destiny calling Moses uh, to go and complete that which God purposed for, for him. And then the sixth example is David. Through his triumphs and failures, he was the least important uh, member of his family. Uh, in fact, when the prophet went to anoint a king in the family of uh, David's father, Jesse, uh, David was nowhere to be seen. He was not invited. His, all his brothers were invited, but he was in the fields uh, taking care of the sheep and the goats. And then the prophet realizes that these other brothers are not the chosen ones. Uh, destiny calls uh, David out of the fields he comes and becomes anointed as king of Israel in the full view of all his elder and uh, uh, more able brothers and then last but not least we see our personal savior Jesus Christ uh, destiny was calling him he came on earth to die for the sins of mankind in order to save us all 
from our iniquities. So these are scenarios where destiny is calling the chosen few. Many are called but few are chosen. And as I told you, you can also be chosen by believing in the one and only son Jesus Christ who died at the cross so that you be forgiven all your present, past and future sins. All you need to do is to believe that he died to pay for all uh, your iniquities. So whatever you might be going through, uh, be it a financial problem, uh, is it a health problem, is it a family problem, a relationship problem, whichever problem that is uh, you are undergoing, you it, it can't get any worse uh, as long as you aren't giving up. Uh, uh, you know, if you didn't have a destiny, a bright destiny, the devil wouldn't be pursuing you uh, to mess up things in your life. But since you have a great destiny, you have a bright future ahead of you, that is why the evil one is concerned. You remember the story of Joseph, as, as I shared with you, if he didn't have a bright future of being a prime minister, I'm very sure he wouldn't have undergone the many troubles he went through. But because of his bright future and destiny, uh, he went through all those challenges in preparation for his destiny. And God makes the devil pay twice or even a billion and one times or infinity number of times for all the troubles he brings unto us. So be encouraged in whichever challenge you are going through. Just know that God is in control and you are among the chosen few. That is why you are undergoing that a trouble that you're going through at this time and it is destiny it is actually destiny calling you don't trip off don't uh, start uh, blaming god don't start complaining like the israelites were complaining constantly in the desert adding up to annoy god just get relaxed pray in everything in prayer and supplication make your needs known unto god and uh, sure enough uh, you, God will deliver you from any trouble that you are going through. Uh, just be encouraged and know that you are among the chosen few. That is why you are going through whatever challenge you are going through uh, now. Don't be discouraged at all. Keep your head high and the peace of God that surpasses all human understanding will guide you through. Even when you are judged harshly, don't despair. Remember, your accusers have no idea about your calling. God only knows what to say about you. Hosea was commanded to marry uh, a prostitute. I know he was ridiculed, especially by religious leaders, but it was a command from God to accomplish God's purpose. Jesus was ridiculed for associating with sinners. Uh, it was his calling to guide sinners back to God. The accusers can't understand your calling. The accusers can't understand that is destiny that is calling unto you. So stay steadfast, keep your head high and keep moving. Because if you focus on the accusers, you might never accomplish your purpose in life. You will be judged, you will be condemned, you will feel discouraged. Do not give up hope. Destiny has chosen you. You didn't choose your destiny. It is your destiny that chose you. That's the daily challenge guys. Kindly hit that subscribe button if you've not subscribed to this uh, channel. And thank you for watching this video. Kindly share this video with all your friends on all your social media networks. And always invite them to watch the daily challenge on a daily basis. May God bless you. See you again tomorrow in another daily challenge.